Hello, Solimia again. These English historians are confusing. Although I admire their capacity for cognitive dissonance. Witness the esteemed academic Mr. Simon Webb. He informed us a short while ago about Sweller Breverman being a ruthless cosmopolitan. My colleague Mr. Carnelian has already spoken of the problems with that. The main issue is of course the fact that Mr. Webb repurposed antisemitic language from the Soviet Union to label Sweller. Today Mr. Webb is noting that the National Front was not entirely a bad thing. The problem here is that the National Front was founded by A.K. Chesterton, a man who was profoundly antisemitic. His successors such as John Tyndall maintained this general outlook, although they toned their rhetoric down for public consumption. Mr. Webb presents himself as a Zionist but adheres to these views. In a moment we will look at Leon Festiner's work on cognitive dissonance. Here is what Leon Festiner had to say about cognitive dissonance in 1957. 1. The existence of dissonance, or inconsistency, being psychologically uncomfortable, will motivate the person to try to reduce the dissonance and achieve consonance or consistency. 2. When dissonance is present, in addition to trying to reduce it, the person will actively avoid situations and information which would likely increase the dissonance. Mr. Webb is utilizing material from men who hated Jews and yet presents himself as a supporter of Israel and a Zionist. At some point attempting to reconcile such disparate views must become a mental strain. Perhaps some factor unique to the air of Albion allows English historians the ability to achieve such groundbreaking work. I do not know but Mr. Webb's outstanding ability with regards to attempting to combine irreconcilable views should be credited. In fairness, few people have absolutely consistent views. However, Mr. Webb mixes and matches points of view from groups that are diametrically opposed. He sadly also avoids any debate on these issues so it is impossible to ascertain what patterns of rationalization he engages in with regards to reconciling these views. I stand in all of his abilities in this area, however. No doubt he will treat us to more awesome work in this area as time rolls on.